everybody, it's Bobby Joe, and um, I'm on vacation. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I'm on vacation, so I've been chilling, and um, yeah, and the reason I had Che Che's picture um, is because he's been chilling too, so that's why his picture was um, the little picture for the film because he's been hanging out with mama and doing nothing nothing so he's been playing mommy's been playing he's been playing ribbon mostly and um yeah so i always say that um i always come home and i'll uh, i'll say papa made you work all day no no, <gasps> he made you do that because my husband works from home. So, yeah, I always say that Che Che's been made to work. So he's on vacation, too. Anyways, I got a small Dollarama haul. It's not small this time. I actually went to two stores. I've... I, I very, 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 very rarely have ever gone to two Dollaramas in a row. However, I went to the Dollarama in DF by my work um, the other day, and I there was no aloe drink that I drank. And then I, we went up to a place, it's... Um, called Trinity um, and no drink so then we had to go to another one so that's yeah so they finally and it was my favorite one um, they finally had my drink um, and what this is is an aloe drink oh sorry I'm so sorry welcome Sorry. Um, welcome, welcome to my home. If you're new here, if you're already a subscriber or already a watcher, um, welcome to my home. It's great to have you here. And um, yeah, I got all excited about uh, I got vacation, and then I got talking about Che. Yeah, get me on to Che Che, and we're pretty much downhill from. Get me on to cats. Period, and we're pretty much downhill. Okay, so went <laughs> went to these three dollar stores and finally got my kind of the pomegranate kind of the aloe drink. Now Mario's, we, well, they did. We were and we were able to get the original, which is the green type. Um, we haven't seen mango in, a, in quite a while, which is the orange. But um, the pomegranate is hard to find. I think this is the one that people like most. So I finally got it. Um, and for this, it's 200, uh, it's 500 mils. For 250 mils, it's 50 calories. And um, carbs are 13 grams. So it's my favorite. It's a little bit sour the pomegranate where this green one I don't like as much because it's a little bit it's a little bit sweet tasting not a huge amount but enough for me um, but I will drink it every now and then and I had um, uh, somebody mentioned to me in one of the comments that they actually go and get the aloe drink now um, that they saw me um, doing it. And I apologize that I'm not recalling who it was. should have found that out. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah. The next thing is the water. This is a repeat purchase as well. Um, the, aloe the aloe drink, by the way, is about a dollar, dollar twenty-five. Um, this here is about, I believe it's a dollar. No, I believe it's fifty cents actually, two for a dollar, if I remember correctly. 
I'm, I'm, I'm semi-organized today. I've got the receipt literally right in front of me, and I don't look at it. Wow. Um, okay, so let me see here. Nile water is, oh, sorry, it's 25 cents um, for them. Even better. It's from Quebec, 600 mils. Mario just likes it to take to bed so he doesn't have to spill his water. Um, he doesn't do it all the time, but every now and then he decides he needs something to drink, gets up out of bed and goes. It's from Quebec. And it's, I believe it is considered spring water, if I remember correctly. Product of Canada. Yeah, natural spring water. So, anyways, it, it tastes really good. I'm really picky about my bottled water. It tastes really good. And from um, where we live, we have excellent, excellent recycling program um, for not only the um, bottle itself, but the cap as well. Um, the next thing is my coconut water. I love, love um, this coconut water. Not as much to drink it straight out. Um, I do I, when I'm finishing the can, but I use it in my shakes and I do a shake with um, um, frozen fruit. And yeah, so this is 100% natural um, coconut water. For a half a can, it's 60 calories and 15 grams of carbs. So um, it, yeah, it's without pulp. And yeah, and this one is from, I think it's from Thailand. Yeah, product of Thailand. So that's $1.25 per can. I don't get a lot of them because I do mix it up with my shakes. Um, but yeah, it's one of my favorites to put in a shake. Next thing is my mandarin um, oranges. Um, downside of the mandarin oranges, again, repeat purchase, sorry. Um, the downside, it's in light syrup. The good side is are, are is two things. Number one, it's two for a dollar twenty five, which is a decent price for as far as I'm concerned. The second thing is that I only eat a half a can at a time, so um, for half a cup, which it would be oh maybe three quarters of a can of that. Um, is, is 60 calories and then car, uh, 15 grams of carbs. So for the amount that I eat and for the amount of times I eat it, it's, it's still okay. Another repeat purchase is my uh, Puritan Mild Chili. Um, this is product of the U.S. And it was $1.25 for the can. And then you, um, for the half a can, it's 290 calories, um, which is a lot. Um, yeah. um, carbs are 32, but fiber is 9 grams. So that brings that car and those carbs down quite a bit. Um, Next thing, another repeat purchase, Hawaiian Punch. Um, this one is the um, Fruit Juicy Red, and it's eight uh, packets of singles to go, and it's sugar-free. Now, like I've said probably on my last video, I don't like these as well as the Jolly Ranchers. I find they ha are a little bit sweeter. I like a little bit of it soury taste to uh, to my drinks um, however these are good in a pinch but if you are management at Dollarama right now please bring back the Jolly Ranch ones you can have both uh, 
so yeah the other thing that we got here is the six pack of um, um, sandwich cr crackers with cheese flavored filling not a cheese filling um, it's by Bisqui and it's six packs it is I believe a dollar yeah a dollar for the six um, we don't get these often like we don't get them all the time because it takes a while for us to go through the six but they are something that we buy repeatedly um, I've taken these into work before given them to people who were a little bit hungry and didn't have anything right at their um, fingertips and they have gone and purchased these so they taste very good and I imagine they would taste good with like tomato soup I would think but um, other, uh, otherwise good snack when you've got to eat in between meal. Another snack I like in between meals is um, the chicken salad. I, I like this one because um, it's individually wrapped um, crackers and then you've got the can but then you've got the um, little plastic little utensil in there too um, and it's got um, it's a product of the US it's got some pickles in there as well ready to eat I can literally chuck this in my desk and when I I, I need a, a miniature meal uh, at some point um, it is uh, it's there and uh, the name brand is Mario's as you can see I believe what are the price on those Mario's chicken is dollar fifty so to me it's a good deal for something that's not complete junk um, speaking of <laughs> junk <laughs> Let's get to Mario's purchases. <laughs> um, Mario has um, a little bit of an obsession with chocolate. He has made me a little bit, like I, I enjoy the chocolate, but for me, if it never came into the house, I would never, it was it just meh. Um, for him, it's, and yeah. He's got his two bins beside his plates on the couch and yeah. So at least with this particular time, um, we only have one chocolate bar. Uh, and it's funny because it's the chocolate bar, it's green tea Kit Kat. And what's funny about it is he looked at this at, one, uh, at another visit and he said, ew. And here he is, he's bought the Kit Kat. So I'm going to try to have a piece of it just to taste it and see what it tastes like. Um, I, with the white chocolate Kit Kat, I'm a white chocolate fan. fan. Um, with the white, I didn't see much of a taste to it. And then that was, ex so I'm curious to taste that one. But at least this time we weren't literally scooping things like scooping chocolate bars, throwing them into the basket. I've literally had people staring at us because he just goes and a whole bunch of them and, and with the diabetes as well. So that, great. <laughs> and he bought two um, bags of these icy squares. Um, I believe they are a dollar. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, there it is. Yeah, a dollar a piece. And um, he bought Maltesers as well, which were two dollars a piece. I admit the reason he had to buy a bag of these was because um, I had eaten his other ones. But what's interesting is that he bought two bags to replace one. I love them. Uh, this 
this one here, I admit that I had a little bit of his little bunny cookies and cream bunny. So I'm assuming that was a replacement. Even though I didn't eat the whole thing. But I like white chocolate. I do. So like I said though, I'm more of a um, carbs. Love carbs. Um, okay, so this is um, the chip brand that we that like. It's called Gourmet. And it comes in like ketchup, um, um, salt and vinegar, uh, and the plain. And I think there is uh, sour cream and onion, but I'm not certain. $2, excellent size bag. Chips are not all broken inside. Um, the chips are thicker, so it is, um, it is, that's probably why they're not broken all, uh, all through the inside. It's 280 grams, made in Canada, and a good size bag for $2. You just not, I don't find you can get this good quality nowadays for two dollars so my mother got us onto these ones and all i totally understand why she likes them um i did buy these this is a a first time purchase um they're delights chocolate chip cookie five soft baked bars fiber one 90 calories a bar and um 19 um 19 carbs with five fiber so it doesn't it's not too too bad it's 14 grams it brings it down to um so i'm gonna try them i i haven't had them before but best thing about it Bought them for $2.50, went to Giant Tiger, saw them for almost $3. I think it was $2.97 or something like that. So I was happy that I got a decent deal on them. Um, I got straws. Mario told me I had reusable straws for my shakes. Um, because I could never find this size, this big size. Um, but anyways, I'm, they're getting dilapidated, I admit. And, um, and I, uh, I got these, Mario's told me my, my, um, my straws weren't looking very good. The paint is coming off them and stuff like this. So. Um, I got them. They're the thi uh, they're the wide kind. Um, Fifty for a dollar twenty-five. Uh, I will reuse them. Um, still, uh, I have pipe cleaners that um, I use to clean my straws. I will still clean uh, clean them and use them. I might get three uses out of them. If I get more, that's great too. Um, I'm not a big environmental person, um, I'm not a huge, in, 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 I try to be semi-conscious of it though, um, and we do have the benefit of a, a good recycling program here, but still, I still have, trying to focus on it a little bit, um, we try not to use, um, um, plastic bags for groceries and stuff like that and um, Dollarama and stuff we use our material bags it's I think sometimes yeah I I, I prefer not to but it is what it is it's, I guess it's life and I try but yeah, I wish I could do. I I wish I did it more. Um, I do do um, a program at work where it's um, we collect dead batteries, 
and Mario will take them to Staples for me and they have a recycling thing there for pens and and but mostly it's batteries that people are trying to get rid of right instead of throwing them out so I, I do some things um, as what I can I guess um, this is um, These smell great. I'm, I'm very surprised. Uh, these are um, kitchen garbage bags and they're 24 inch by 28 inch, 12 bags in total. I, I don't remember if it's Cupcake Share or uh, somebody that had these and I, um, I mentioned it to Mario that somebody had hauled them. I may not even be thinking of the right ones. Anyways, he tried them a couple of times ago, liked them, and um, picked up another thing. And it says um, it just uh, like it um, um, it distracts uh, it, animals are not uh, attracted to it. So um, yeah, they've obviously not had Che Che's litter in a garbage bag. Um, another one of Mario's purchases. I don't think he's ever gotten something like this before. But he bought two. I don't They're um, marshmallow cones, s'mores, chocolatey graham flavor. $2 for 145 grams. I'd like to tell you whether or not that was a good price. I have no idea. I don't know. I'll try one. See what it's like. But yeah, you got two bags. Um, okay, keep on going here. <laughs> Um, he picked up Salon Selective's um, shampoo, $3 um, for 28 fluid ounces, so 828 mils. Um, it says um, Color Protect as well. So $3, um, he picks up, he goes through way more shampoo than I do way more. I'm one, I'm one of these people, I've probably said it before, I'm one of these people that literally put a, like a quarter size on your on your um, hand. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> but him, I, and I'm the same way with toothpaste. I literally put what they tell you to put. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, but anyways, he likes a lot of shampoo, so he bought this large one. And, um, yeah. Um, another thing he picked up was, holy, look at the size of that. Um, Winter Fresh Colgate Toothpaste, 150 milliliters. Um, the toothpaste, I don't know what. Toothpaste, he got it for 250. So not bad for toothpaste. Um, yeah, I usually spend quite a bit on my toothpaste, but um, yeah, yeah. But I like I won't use anything but Crest, and most of the time the Whites is my preferred one. Um, we got another one of these. Um, this is a repeat purchase as well. After a while, your bath mat your non-slip thing uh, on the bottom of the shower after a while it just gets it just gets so you can't clean it anymore so these these are 350 um, they're 15 inch by 27 inch skid resistant with uh, suction cup and cups on it and um, we do do like a, large amount of cleaning of the one like the current one but after a while you just can't keep them clean enough you can't get them clean enough 
Um, okay. Next, Scotch towels. Um, the two rolls of them, and it's the um, three roll uh, one. We don't we don't go through a lot of paper towel. And the plus side, even with these, is that I like that I can just take a small little, it's the choose a side one, size one. And what I like about it is you can just choose a small bit at a time. And there, it's $4 for this, but it lasts us quite a while. We don't go through a lot of paper towels. Um, and yeah, so. And they get, go through even less since we can choose to have a lot or have um, a, a small amount. So I like that aspect of things. Um, next thing is these are these um, storage bins. And uh, these are the $2 ones. They are, let's see, 6 liter and... I'm trying, I've got, I've got on one of my, um, if you look behind me there on this, right there, um, those things that are stacked, well, I, I needed some more stacking ones because I'm just, I've got a lot of craft supplies and I bought more today. Actually, I did... I did very well today because I went to two Dollaramas and one discount store and you'll see that I don't have a lot of, I didn't have a lot of, a lot of stuff. However, I did go, when I did go, um, they had this kind of chalkboard, it wasn't the plain chalkboard um, um, scrapbook paper pad. It was chalkboard, as but it's it, all the designs. There were all these designs on it, and um, these cutout ones um, it, it, on it with sayings. But it looked like it was all like done in chalk uh, um, on a chalkboard. Um, these really uh, ones that were designed like polka dot and stuff like this was really really uh, cute four dollar pad the only issue is that I just can uh, I pondered it and then I said Bobby Joe you've had the same chalkboard um, similar thing with a, a design on it the same paper forever so I wouldn't allow myself to get it there's some people who who uh, do beautiful things with these chalkboard papers. I just, I, I guess it's just not, it doesn't flow out of me. The creativity does not flow out of me for them. So I just don't know, I, I don't think I would have used it. So I said, okay, you know what? If you're not going to use it, don't get it. But make sure that you tell people about it because it's out there. So just watch for it if you're a chalkboard person watch it for it. Um, then I got, yeah, I'm on to the fun stuff. All right. Finally got myself one of these because I wanted to do some videos um, where I do project shares. So um, I have a few things that I'm working on right now. I'm going to do, be doing something, um, um, I'm going to be doing a pocket letter here soon, um, with, hopefully with, um, Dollar Queen Lee, um, and also I have some cards I'm making right now, and I wanted to do a project share with them, but I wouldn't have been able to do it because I wouldn't have been able to hold the camera um, like without shaking. And uh, I have to think about also um, the joints and whether or not I can hold a camera for that length of time. 
Um, so three dollars. I've heard such good things about these on other videos. Um, people uh, really liking them. I think Tina. Um, I think it, 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 Tina's Tina Fey. T Tina. Oh, Tina. I'm so sorry. F E Y. I think it is. I'm so sorry, Tina. Um, anyways, um, Tina has mentioned that she got one of these, so I, um, I said, well, I'll pick one up, and that should help me clip it onto my, my desk, because I've got a computer desk, it should clip just fine, literally, um, about the size of that, so, um, I should do, do well with that. All right. There's a story to this. <laughs> this, yeah. You know who that is. Especially if you're um, an Avengers uh, Marvel comic book person. Mario actually learned to speak English by because <laughs> he wanted to read comics. And he, that, he still to this day, he's 58, um, still to this day, loves his comics. And last time, well, when we went to get my drink, let's try to get my drinks there um, early last week, he picked up uh, a new book for some things that he has to write down. And... Um, his book was getting dilapidated, so he wanted to transfer the stuff into another book. And he bought just a plain Jane book. Well, when I saw this today, oh, it's got, oh, it's got three different things. Oh. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my, we were going to be, um, we're going to go to Black Panther tomorrow. Um going to go to Black Panther tomorrow because I do too. I like the the movies. Oh yeah, this has like four different Anyways, um we have I like the superhero movies too. Uh well, the Marvel ones and um Anyways, he had bought a book already, a just plain Jane book, and I said, I said, oh, look at those. I said, too bad, you can't, you've already bought your book. <laughs> Who cares, he says, <laughs> throws it in. But, uh, yeah, so, but yeah, he, Mario is um, Acadian French, and he learned to speak English with, comic books and other books that he wanted to read obviously but comic books were the first thing he's also taught himself German and um, and he watches um, Korean TV so he's teaching himself Korean right now um, that's how he learns he wants to read or watch or whatever and and he's got a really good ear for it because he's got that musician's ear. Um, so luckily he's able to pick up on it very well. I, I'm not so lucky, but um, anyways, he goes, we go to um, a store, our convenience store um, that we uh, frequent is owned by a Korean uh, family. And he goes in there and... <laughs> He practices. He practices his Korean. And also, though, he watches certain shows. And <laughs> the lady, um, um, not the uh, not the daughter, but the uh, the mother, and him compared notes on shows. So sometimes I'll be sitting out in the car, and he's either getting... Uh, a lesson as to how to pronounce something or he's comparing notes and I'm sitting in the car I just think it's so cute <laughs> <laughs> but 
what I mean, he's whatever he wants, you know, it's I wish I could do it, but uh, I find it funny that he's comparing notes with the the mother. Um, these things I am so happy with. This one here um, is jo it's Jolie's Boutique and it's the Dimensional Stickers. And I was so happy because I saw Dollar Queenly haul these the other day and I said, oh, I want those. Found them. I was a happy girl. Um, I didn't take, I don't, I'm not one to buy huge multiples. I, I kind of, but, um, I hummed and hawed whether I should buy multiples, but decided not to, but I, because I, I get so that I, I just don't know where to, to, yeah, where, what projects to put them on after a while, but I did buy this one. And what I like about it is it's got a little bit of sparkles. You can kind of see that. But um, I like the orange on it and the yellow. I just like the, the um, spiral and two and one thing about these is that you can put them on anything where this one here I'm limited to the birthday stuff but this one here I can put on anything and I do all different kinds of cards so that's that's important I also have been watching people haul these um, I, I still have, Mario used to have an extensive hockey card collection, and he has had a bunch of hockey card folders. I'm still going through them. Um, the only thing I didn't like about them is that they have this little shiny thing right here for, for the hockey card type thing. Um... So it's been seeing people haul these. They're a dollar. I think that's a good deal and for eight. So, you know. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try those ones. If I prefer... One of the things about the hockey card ones that he had are they, is that they're quite thick. Um, a, a thick plastic. So I don't know if... I, if I'm going to like the um, thinner plastic or not. I don't think it will make a big difference because people have sent me pop letters with thinner plastic. I don't find it makes a difference. So I think they will be fine for a dollar. Um, last but not least, my favorite thing for the day. <laughs> and it's sticky notes, but a different sticky notes. So it's got the um, five days of the week. Well, five days. Oh, Joe. There's seven days in a week, I know. Um, but the five days that are my work week. Um, it does have the Saturday and Sunday at the end. For $1.50, I picked this up. What I like about it is that I just sh small little quick because um, a soup of mine like she um, told me to just kind of like for uh, she suggested one time just kind of um, jotting three things you want to accomplish in a day down um, at the beginning of your day. So it's small enough to do that. It's these are sticky notes, but what I love about it is the please call back when I give a damn. I thought that was so hilarious. Yeah, it's kind of like the girl said, um, um, 
who was ringing, uh, ringing our stuff up, she said, it just reminded me of, frankly, my dear, <laughs> or frankly, Sh Charlotte, I don't give a damn, or something like this, she said. But yeah, it's, it's funny. Yeah. Um, and they're called, and there's 50 sheets. And uh, sticky to do notes. Because somebody has to do it. Printed on 100% recyclable paper made in the U.S. So, yeah. I may take it to work. I may not. I think I'll, I think I'll want to. Um, so, yeah. Is that cool? That's it. That's all. Thank you. Thank you for... If you've gotten this far, thank you for sticking out. I know I babble. I know. I don't think I have anything else, though. But if you have a kid that, or a, a husband that likes Avengers, there was also a Thor one in there. So, yeah. Look at all the, yeah. Pretty cool. $4, by the way. I didn't tell you the price. Thank you so much for um, sticking with me. <laughs> And uh, thank you for, you know, being you. Thanks. And um, just know that I appreciate you stopping by and enjoy your week. And uh, I'll certainly enjoy mine and, yeah, have fun. Have a good night. Bye.